Alright guys, what is going on? I'm Tubby Emu. Finally, good match I'm excited to talk about. Cody Rhodes versus Christian at Elimination Chamber for the Intercontinental Championship. The first things I need to tell you about this video is one, it is CPU versus CPU. I'm not controlling either one. You're probably asking... <laughs> Oh, geez, I got the hiccups. Tubby, why is the camera angle so far back? If you play in story design, which I do so I can create all the matches and then just go through one after another and play, record them, uh, the hiccups are going to be really annoying in this video, I can already tell. Uh, the camera is farther away. So this match, you know, has got a little bit of proper buildup. Um, right after Cody dropped the title, uh... And I, I'm pretty sure they knew Cody Rhodes had failed the drug test because Cody Rhodes himself even admitted time off, and which I immediately assumed was, okay, he failed the drug test, um, and he did fail a drug test, Cody Rhodes did, and they were going to suspend him, uh, but he was able to pr provide doctor's notes and whatnot that what he was taking was prescribed by a doctor and therefore was not sanctioned whatsoever, which is perfectly fine under the WWE as long as it's prescribed. Um... Then why can't the doctors just prescribe him all these illegal drugs? Anyway, <laughs> not the point. Uh, just go to California. Oh, my God, I have sleep terrors. I need marijuana. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Cody Rhodes versus Christian, a match that I'm excited about. It happened last month at Over the Limit when Christian won a battle royale, was able to challenge for a title. Didn't pick Santino. I originally did and then said I'm going to face Cody Rhodes after Cody Rhodes is talking shit about Christian not picking him. And uh, they've been going back and forth. Um... And I think that this is more of a way, and I originally didn't think about this. Originally, I was like, okay, Cody Rhodes at the pay-per-view is just going to win. Not Cody Rhodes. Christian is just going to win. It's going to be Cody's uh, time to finally go into the main event. Blah, blah, blah. You usually lose the title to go up. Well, that's not the case in the WWE anymore. You don't ever see the champion going up. You know, after they drop the title, it's because either the pitcher is too crowded or, you know, then it's like not enough ta ta tier talent is there. Like this month with all the guys gone, Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, whatnot, Dolph Ziggler is going to fill in the place. Um, so it's a little disappointing. Cody Rhodes didn't even get a shot because he wasn't a former world heavyweight champion. And the way they've been booking this so far is Christians look super strong. Cody Rhodes hasn't. Um, and my logic would tell me Christian's going to go ahead and pick up a victory. Um, but just the way Michael Cole was talking, uh, in the match that I was watching of him, where it was like, you know what, I, I didn't like the way that Cody was talking, though, you know, he lost the match, there's no, really no rhyme or reason, so if he goes out and loses, you know, that's the end of it, if not, uh, he's got something to prove by beating Christian, so I almost think that this is a more of a way to put somebody over for, you know, Christian to put over Cody Rhodes in a way. Because Christian is a huge fan favorite, and to see him, Cody Rhodes beat him, kind of like when he beat Booker T, how Booker T put him over, I would prefer in this match, and I know a lot of people are going to be mad about this, I'm going to make a prediction and say Cody Rhodes wins, Christian puts him over, um, in, in hopes of, and I'm saying this, in hopes of, that Christian goes on to uh, feud for a championship. Now, I, I would want Cody Rhodes to have a, a championship opportunity, but right now I do not think he's ready as much as I want him to be. I'd prefer Dolph Ziggler or Christian facing Sheamus. So that is my suggestion. I'm going to say have Christian this time drop the belt to Cody Rhodes so Christian can go on and feud with Sheamus or Dolph Ziggler and they can provide some good matches. That's just my prediction. I want to know what you guys think. Make sure to leave them in the comments section below. And make sure as well to smash that like button. It's that little thing that points up in the air. Kind of like your... Anyway, it's the up button. Make sure to smash that. Leave a comment down below with your predictions. Follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Tubby And sub to my second channel. YouTube.com forward slash Tubby Guys, you have a wonderful day. We'll see you this Sunday. No way out. 617 on pay-per-view. Tubby Emu out.